Okay, everyone, we're continuing with roommates, and we have a scene apparently, so let's see what exactly we've gotten ourselves into. It's nice to get the place to myself once in a while. The house is quiet tonight. Dominic is at a housing authority meeting that should take most of the night. Isabel is out with Chad. Rakesh. Rakesh wandered out the door earlier in the evening, wearing all black and holding a paint roller. I have no idea what he's up to, and I don't think I want to know. Sally's at a sit-in on campus, protesting some guy's illegal imprisonment, of course. I didn't ask many questions about it. I don't really care about that stuff. I wonder if he's an animal rights activist. What do you think? Maybe. In the meantime, I've got the place to myself, which means I can finally make some noise without somebody getting on my case about it. A little nap on the common room couch to recharge the batteries, then I'll plug in the amp and really jam for a while. I'm feeling pretty pumped as I put my plan together while I grab a quick snack from the kitchen. Oh, I'm gonna make some noise tonight. It's gonna give you suckers such a fright. I've got a little bitty nap to take, then I'm gonna make the house shake. I'm sure she that's- She forgot about her. Oh no. <laughs> oh, not too much shaking, I hope. That's a cute song though. Is a Dom, Rakesh, Sally. Damn it. Oh, geez, I, um, didn't know you were still here. Yeah, hey, I thought I had the place to myself, too. I guess it's just you and me, then. Yeah. Well, this is embarrassing. I can't believe she caught me singing like a crappy ten-year-old. Hey, I was gonna go take care of a couple of things in my room. This is just a quick snack. You wanna hang out a bit, though? We can have dinner together or something? Oh. I gotta make a better impression than this. She's such a shy girl, being alone in this house with me. She might think I'm a creep who wants to avoid her or something. Sure, sounds like fun. This is a little awkward. We didn't get off to the best start. Okay, see you back down here in an hour or so. Hopefully when we get back together, it won't be so bad. Well, we said we were going to meet her, so we might as well. It seems kind of lame the leaf just hanging now. I needed that nap. Now I'm feeling a bit more up to speed. I kick some of my clothes into a corner and make a note to wash that stuff later. Because who has time to do that now? Just as my hand is reaching for the doorknob, though, I hear a quiet, timid knock from the other side. Oh, hey, Anne. I was just coming out to hang out. Oh. I, I was going to say that you don't have to. I mean, I could study some more, or... What? No, come on. Let's go see if we can throw together a decent meal. Okay. She doesn't seem disappointed or like she wants to call it off. I think she's just being shy. With these really shy ones, you've got to take the lead or they'll never get anywhere. I put my arm around Anne's shoulder and lead her towards the stairs. Oh, that seems a little bit too bold, though. <laughs> Besides, I've got to play it cool after that ridiculous display earlier. I don't think she cares. Probably not. Together, we head downstairs and into the kitchen. A little scrounging turns up a fairly decent meal with a little muster fuss. We sit down with our meals next to each other on the big couch in the common room. So, how are classes? Ugh, don't ask. Not great, huh? Is it really hard? Of course they're hard. It doesn't help that I'm not really interested in the classes I'm taking. It all adds up to a pretty crappy grade. But I'm not going to tell her that. She'll get all concerned about it. It's no picnic, but I'll pull through. It's probably time for a subject change. Well, I'm sure you'll get through. Kind of weird to have the place to ourselves, huh? Heh. <laughs> I know. I was hoping I would let my sexiness run free, but I guess I'll have to keep it in check. Um, well, I guess you should hold it in? Oh geez, she's too shy. She's not giving me anything to work with. This is getting too awkward. Anne's cute, but I don't know what she expects to happen here. Maybe she doesn't expect anything to happen yeah, next, right? What? Keep trying to find an opening to hit on her. It's just kind of awkward. Maybe I should just call this a night? Or maybe I should go on the attack? On the attack? I don't know. We watch the TV quietly for a while. There's nothing interesting on. We just watch it. Things aren't going to change if I don't do something. Why do they have to change? Do imitations? That sounds like a bad plan. Yeah, let's, let's just quit. It's not like we want to hit on her anyway. It's probably best if I just call it good now. It's just too weird without the others around. Well... I guess I'll go work on that up in my room. Oh, um, really? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I have band practice pretty soon, so I'm really going to work on some lyrics for a bit. 
Thanks for asking me down, Anne. Take it easy. Anne doesn't say goodbye, just nods. It's not my fault a girl doesn't know how to have fun. Ah, Max, Max, Max. Is there only one thing you know how to do? <laughs> then again, it doesn't seem like she was very upset that we stopped. Probably because she's not interested in you. At least, I don't think so. I could be wrong. I head back to my room and shut the door. Maybe I'm losing my touch? She didn't seem that disappointed. Oh, poor Max. Maybe I just don't know her well enough yet. A few hours later, I hear one of the others come home. It seems like I missed an opportunity, but I can't really see where. Now well. Oh, right. Well, this week's about to end, it looks like. Oh, Rakesh. Oh, gosh. What? All right, Rakesh, if you say so. All right, so we're back. I don't think we actually had to change anything, did we? No. We did the math. It looks like we should be good to keep it above 70, which I believe that was what we needed to do to get the stat bonus set. It's kind of a bit of a hidden fact, I guess. A hidden multiplier. Ooh. Ooh, band practice. It's the first time my band's had practice in a while, and I need to make sure I've got everything. I'm pretty sure I've got it all as I grab up my good amp and take it downstairs. Sally and Anne have been talking in the common room since I started all this. Ooh, both of them. Okay, that's good. I give them a nod as I pack the amp into my old beater van. I wonder what it looks like. <laughs> I wish we could see it. Yeah. I got the van a couple of years ago as a way to get my crew to gigs. Makes a good way to haul all the equipment around, too. I pop back into the house quickly, just to let them know I'm heading out. Okay, I think that's it. Sorry for the interruption, ladies. I'm out to band practice. I'll probably be a while, so tell Dominic not to freak out if he hears me coming in late. Finally ready to start jamming, huh? Damn right. It's been a while, so I'm issuing a jam with my boys. Sounds like a lot of fun. Should be. We've never really heard your whole band do its thing, just you practicing. Um, we were actually just discussing it, and um, do you think we could come watch? Oh. We don't mean to be intrusive or anything, it's just the kind of thing we don't get to see very often. Well, sure, let's bring some ladies along with us. Sounds <laughs> good. I'm sure the boys in the band will appreciate it. Hey, listen, the guys are always happy to show up for a beautiful lady. So I'm sure if you two want to show up, does one of you have a car you can follow in? I don't actually own a car. This town's pretty well laid out for college students. Honestly, I only know a few people who even have cars. I think Dominic has one for going to meetings. I know I don't have a car. <laughs> a simple no would suffice. Well, crap. That's a problem. I only have enough room in the van for one. Oh. Oh, we hadn't thought of that. Yeah, that sucks. How will we decide who goes? I don't know. Is naked mud wrestling off the table? Oh Max, my God. really? Stop that, Max. One idiot. What do you think, Anne? Hey, it's my band. Shouldn't I get a say? Well, I mean... I don't want to make it too personal. I feel like the energy at Latin House has really balanced out lately. We're reaching a good equilibrium. Um, well, he does have a point. We may as well just let him decide. It is his van and his band after all. Sally gives Anne a questioning look, but shrugs. Okay then, Big Shot, who's it gonna be? Well... Hey, it's not like I'm choosing who's going to have to give up food for the rest of the year. No, no, you want the choice. Go ahead. Yeah, you were right. So who would you like to bring along? Oh, this is gonna cause some tensions, won't it? Mm-hmm. I think I may have stepped in at this time. Both of them are looking at me, smiling expectantly. There'll probably be hurt feelings on either side of this choice. Which way to go? Well, we have to play the event, I guess, because, hey, one of them's our girl are supposed to be pursuing, so let's <laughs> yep. do it. Well, I'm never going to get anywhere if I worry about hurting feelings. No, this is a golden opportunity to show off, and I think I'm going to take it. Hmm. Well, which one to take? This is a difficult choice. I don't suppose you'll have a jumping jack competition for me, would oh you? Oh my god. Would you cut it out, please? Don't be a pig, Max. I'm joking. Jeez. I think Anne was going to throw something at me. Let's see. I guess this time I'll choose Sally. There Yay. we go. We got points, too. I wasn't sure if they would actually lose points just because we had to pick one over the other, but it turned out all right after all. Okay. Oh, all right, Sally. You're up. Yay! Poor Anne. I feel bad for her, but oh well. Anne looks disappointed, but hopefully not too upset. I'll let Dominic know you'll be late. Thanks, Anne. I'll make sure you get to come another time, okay? It's okay. Go on. Let's go, Max. I want to see this band of yours. 
We head out to the van and buckle up. Our practice space is about 20 minutes away. It's actually a small bar, but the owner, Gaz, is a buddy of mine. He doesn't mind if we practice our stuff before the bar opens. He even lets us perform every once in a while if he doesn't have someone bigger booked. We pull up and I unlock the back so Sally can help me unload. <laughs> I have to earn your keep. Hey, I never signed up for manual labor. Oh? And here I thought you were more <laughs> Oh? And here I thought you were more than just a pretty face. You are far too clever by half, Max. Give me something. <laughs> oh, look at Who him. Who is this? Whoa. What's this now? I know I brought you on this thing to get the babes, Max. I just didn't think you'd start so early. Memphis, bro. It's been too long. Also, who brought who onto this thing? You glory ceiling son of a bitch. Memphis and I give each other a quick hug. I can tell he's eyeing Sally, though. Oh, no. Don't you move in on our girl. No. Memphis. Sally, one of my roommates. She wanted to come see how a real band shreds it up. Sally, Memphis. My best bud and the best bassist I've ever had. Pleasure's all mine, my dear. Come leave that heavy lifting to the pack beast, and I'll show you our accommodations. Okay. Well, that's interesting. He offers an arm for Sally. Memphis loves to turn on the gentleman act when there's a lady present. Oh, no, you don't. I've already been tricked once, and I'm not going back on it. See, that's what a woman with class looks like, Memphis. Besides, you're not getting out of it either, you slack ass. Grab the mics. Where's everyone else? Whatever, jackass. Slim's inside, banging away. Jerry said he was going to be a couple of minutes late. Of course you know what a couple minutes late means for him. Yeah, whatever. We can get started without him. Do you work out the lyrics for Take Him Home yet? Yeah, I think you're going to like it. Don't you write the songs, Max? Is that what you've been telling people? And you call me the glory stealer. Shut it. I tend to write the music, but, uh, I'm not exactly a great lyricist. I've written a couple of our numbers, but Memphis does most of that stuff. Just remember, without me, you'd be a damn beat poet. Ah, the low lights, the cigarette smoke, the constant finger snapping. Yeah, that'd suck, I guess you can say. Oh, thank you, sir, may I? By the time we get all the gear inside and set up, our last band member has shown up. Is Gaz around? Nah, he said he's gonna go catch a nap before he opens the place up tonight. Said to lock up when we leave. All right, everyone, this is Sally. She'll be watching us practice for tonight. Which means we're in show-off mode, so let's make it flashy, gang. <laughs> we warm up a little, make sure the sound is working, and then set off into a nice practice session. I'm really happy we have an audience tonight. Every band's a little stronger, a little more cohesive when they're putting on a show. When it really matters, even if it's only for one person. We go through the songs we know best first, just to keep them strong. Sally appreciates those, claps along and cheers afterwards and everything. Yay! <laughs> Then we work on a couple of the ones we're not super happy with. We're a cohesive unit tonight, working out the kinks when we find them, collaborating when we're not sure where to go next. A bit of experimentation leads to some breakthroughs, and before we know it, we're jamming along pretty happy with what we've done. Finally, it's time to wrap things up. I mop my brow with a towel, and make Jerry start taking the stuff out to the van. That's what he gets for being late. Yeah. Slim actually gets up to chat with Sally. Everyone's trying to chat with Sally, it looks like. Well, Memphis comes over to give me a high five. Nice one, brother. I think we really nailed down high noon, Sunday. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I did like your lyrics. Thanks, man. So hey, what's up with Sally? You into her? You almost never bring people by rehearsal. Well, yeah, I like her. I don't know if I'm into her. Yeah, you are, Max. Why are you asking? What's up? Oh, he's into her too. That's the thing, <gasps> Max. Come on. No. Nothing, nothing. That's just a fine drink over there, and if you're not going to take a sip... Ew. Eh, leave it alone for now, Memphis. I don't need drama with my roommates, you know? Besides, she only just met you, and she already thinks you're a rock star. I think you've made enough of an impression for one day. Ha, I hear you, though, man. I'll leave it alone while you figure it out. Just remember, you can't have all the cute ones. We ready to go, Max? I wonder if she heard that. Yeah, yeah, let's get going. Okay. Take it, gang. I'm out. You gonna lock up, Memphis? Nah, Slim said he... Oh, Slim's a she. Okay. I thought he kept saying the guys and the boys. Yeah, I didn't realize, but I guess boys could refer to a group including girls as well, I guess. Nah, Slim said she do it. Okay. Sally and I hop into the full van and we make our way back home. That was a lot of fun, Max. Thanks for bringing me. No problem. I'm glad you were there. 
kicks us up a notch, you know? Um, what's Slim's real name? She never mentioned it. I was kind of surprised she was a female at all. Me too. She's a damn good drummer. That's all that matters to me. Her name's Rebecca, but she wears that hoodie all the time, so we all just took to calling her Slim. Okay. Is it a Slim hoodie? I would... Huh? <laughs> That's cute. You've got a good band, Max. I'd love to see you guys with a real audience someday. Well, maybe you will. I'd like that too, trust me. I'll invite you out to our next show for sure. I guess I probably should figure out what's up with Sally before Memphis decides I've taken too long. <laughs> good point. Hmm. All right, we'll just skip this stuff because it doesn't seem that Calvin clear me space on counter six. Who's Calvin? I think we kind of read that already. Seems pretty familiar. Oh, Whoa. no. All right. So what will not stand? I guess we'll find out what Dominic's so upset about in the next episode. Oh. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.